Midway between sculpture and painting, Jonathan Gabb's works are a joyous celebration of colour and material. We talked to him at A. Brooks Art about his current exhibition, Opera Rose. Yeah, the title of the exhibition is called Opera Rose. It's from a brand of acrylic paint, which is uh, this colour, this bright fluorescent pink, which is uh, and the name which has struck me when I was in the art shop. It's very dramatic, over the top. Paint names are usually quite scientific or very serious in, or just to do with the shade of colour, whereas this one was almost like a kind of like household paint name to lure you into buying it. Um, yeah, and I just wanted that, that kind of vivid, vivacious colour and push that further. And because uh, this was a, a florist as well, I thought it's a nice, nice link. The work's painting and sculpture. Um, it's, it's paint with a, a sculptural method. It's um, acrylic paint mixed with uh, kind of a thickening agent like PVA glue. And in this case, I've used mastic as well to make it translucent. It's uh, cast it on a plastic sheet and then to create a skin of paint, basically, which is then manipulated through cutting into tassels, hung, draped into the space. Um, so it's kind of moving away from painting, but at the same time it, it references it. Um, so that was the, obviously the starting point. And I'm still developing it now. This one's called Pink Angel, Capturing the Light. Um, the translucency of the work literally captures the light, which is, uh, you know, capturing the light is a painting term, reference, cliche or whatever, which I wanted to to use within the work, but th this one does it literally as well as you know, metaphorically. Um, the, it opens out into, to, re to reveal, that's a, a, a theme which is um, pretty much in each of the works I do, these layers and upon layers, um, which is you get layers in a painting. But what it does, it kind of reveals layers of colour and worlds of colour which I want people, you know, it's very inviting and I want people to delve into them or want to delve into them. These were transported from my studio space um, by rolling them up into kind of like, like you would a carpet transported and, you know, stuck and hung within the gallery space. They have to consider the space where they will eventually be hung. I try to let that uh, affect the outcome of how they're going to look in the sense that this one's the size of this window. Um, but obviously it can be hung another space differently. Um, because this, was, this gallery has 50% glass you know, window facing onto the street with the public walking by, I wanted to continue the fixing of them against the wall onto the windows, onto the glass, so people can see the, the back of the paint, the actual works, the paintings, which gives another, another picture, another composition, as well as the front, you know, which, some, which in, in some cases can be quite, quite interesting, yeah, and uh, draws a lot of attention. This one's called uh, Colour Cues Yellow Sequence 8. Um, it's obviously layers of the sheets in a sequence, you know, from the largest to the smallest. So it's a very simple, simple idea which, you, which I, uh, I would uh, plan, make, you know, cut, sort of execute it in the studio, bring it to the gallery and there's only during, it's only during the installation process that you have a create, I, I call a creative window, where I would make decisions on how it's finally going to look, because you're never 100% sure. So it's like I have a system laid out, you can plan it to a certain extent, but because of the nature of the work, I, I'm not sure how it's going to finally look. So when we were installing it, um, I decided not to do anything to activate it from, from the outside. What I did was kept this barrier of the yellow and twisted at the bottom to create a kind of like grading of white to yellow, which was an effect I, I never planned. It's only through engaging with the, this, you know, the process 
that this outcome, you know, came about. And I'm quite pleased with this one, yeah.